Hi ladies, Veronica Spriggs here. Today I'm going to show you a very simple trick that I use all the time when I'm creating layouts. Um, I swore I would never share this tip with anyone because it's my super secret, but as long as you don't tell anybody, I'm sure it'll be okay. All right, to get started, the very first thing you wanna do after you've created your layout is to go ahead and flatten it, which I've already done here on an image that I already had saved. Okay, once you've flattened your image, I want you to duplicate your image by going to your Layers panel and just click on right click and then Duplicate Layer. And now you have a background copy. Now what you're going to do is go to Filter and open up your Filter Gallery. And in your filter gallery, you have lots and lots of filters to play with, and you can try out any of these. But today, I'm going to be working with Sketch and then Water Paper. Now, I'm choosing Water Paper because it gives a lot of light, and it you can see that it's casting a really nice glow around the image, and that's what I'm wanting to work with. So... I've gone to sketch and then water paper and I'm not really too concerned about the details so I'm just going to leave everything at its default and then check OK. And now on our layer we've applied the filter and what I'm going to do is go up to, first I'm going to set my, um, my layer mode to overlay or soft light. Either one is going to give a really good effect. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and use soft light. And you can see here that it's already given a really nice glow to the paper. But if I were to zoom in a bit, you could see the distortion from the filter on the image. And I don't want that. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and then you want to apply a blur to your own taste and I have my blur set to about 30 and I'm going to say okay and really that's the trick it's as simple as that it gives your layout such a pop and a wow and it's an it's an effect that I can't even live without anymore so to finish it off because this is going to give your image a really ethereal effect and if you don't want it to look so soft you may want to go ahead and adjust your opacity down a little bit even just a little bit is going to give your image a lot more wow than it had before but I'm going to keep mine up a bit and then you can flatten it um, and once you've flattened it, if it's still a little bit too soft for you, you want to go ahead and just sharpen it up a bit by going to Filter, Sharpen, and then Unsharp Mask. And then adjust your settings accordingly and click OK. And there you have it. That's my super simple trick for adding a little bit of wow to your completed layouts. Hope you've enjoyed this tip and I hope you find it useful.